The Miraculous Story of Fatima, Our Lady and the Three Children. In the quaint village of Fatima, Portugal, on May 13, 1917, a divine encounter changed the lives of three young peasant children forever. Francisco, Jacinta, and Lucia, aged 10, 9, and 7, were tending their family's sheep when they witnessed a vision of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God. She appeared to them as a lady all in white, more brilliant than the sun, indescribably beautiful, standing above a bush. From May to October 1917, the lady appeared to the children on the 13th day of each month, delivering messages of hope and divine instruction. News of these apparitions spread quickly, and while many believed the children's accounts, others subjected them to ridicule and disbelief. The Virgin Mary conveyed that God had sent her with a message for all humanity, promising peace if her requests for prayer, reparation, and consecration were heeded. Despite skepticism, nearly 70,000 people gathered on October 13, 1917, to witness the promised miracle. Amidst torrential rain, the crowd saw the clouds part and the sun appear as a disk of white fire. The sun began to dance, emitting brilliant colors and moving in a zigzag pattern, terrifying the onlookers who feared the end of the world. After about 10 minutes, the sun returned to its normal place, and the crowd, realizing they were safe, rejoiced. Many found their previously soaked clothes miraculously dry. This event, known as the Miracle of the Sun, solidified the children's story. The heart of Our Lady's message, revealed in July 1917, consisted of three parts. The first part was a vision of hell, urging acts of prayer and sacrifice to save souls, emphasizing the rosary and devotion to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. The second part prophesied World War II and the immense damage Russia would cause by abandoning the Christian faith. The third part, revealed in 2000, coincided with the beatification of Francisco and Jacinta. It depicted the suffering of the faithful and possibly predicted the 1981 assassination attempt on Pope John Paul II, who credited the Virgin for his survival. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you, and God bless you. Throughout these apparitions, the Angel of Peace taught the children several prayers to guide their devotion. The Pardon Prayer My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love Thee. I ask pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love Thee. The Angel's Prayer most Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, I adore thee profoundly. I offer thee the most precious body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus Christ, present in all the tabernacles of the world, in reparation for the outrages, sacrileges, and indifference whereby he is offended. And through the infinite merits of his most sacred heart and the immaculate heart of Mary, I beg of thee the conversion of poor sinners. The Eucharistic Prayer Most Holy Trinity, I adore thee. My God, my God, I love thee in the most blessed sacrament. The Sacrifice Prayer O oh my Jesus, I offer this for love of thee, for the conversion of sinners, and in reparation for the sins committed against the Immaculate Heart of Mary. The Rosary Decade Prayer O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The story of Fatima is a powerful reminder of the importance of faith, prayer, and devotion. It calls us to trust in God's plan, seek his mercy, and dedicate ourselves to the conversion of sinners and the salvation of souls. Let us be inspired by the courage and faith of these young children and strive to live out the message of Our Lady of Fatima in our own lives. 
please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you, and God bless you.